today, brothers and sisters in Christ. I pray and trust that, that you have been blessed in this past couple of weeks with this book that we have been reading through about praying and all the different aspects of prayer and that it has been useful in helping you to build your prayer life. I do not believe it is the most complicated thing. I think that God knows every single thing we need even before we pray. But there are useful tools in the Word of God and we do have the Holy Spirit that helps us when we pray so that we can be effective in our prayer lives and that we can also grow into mature Christians. So today we will be speaking about praying in the Spirit and I trust and I pray that the Holy Spirit will help me also as I am speaking about the subject that I will bring it over or teach it in a correct manner and in the, in the context that it should be understood. There are two contexts to, un, to, 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 to um, note. To, to note. Um, the first context is that is the personal or the private practice and discipline of praying in the Holy Spirit, praying in tongues. Then the second uh, context is in the corporate setting in the church. But today we will be, we will be focusing on the personal prayer time of an individual. Your personal time with the Lord. When you go into your inner room or your closet and you close the door, your prayer closet, you close the door behind you as Christ instructs us. And we pray to the Father who sees in secret and hears in secret, but rewards openly. And I believe and I do it myself when I am alone in my private uh, prayer time. I do pray in tongues and I do pray in the Holy Spirit. As the Holy Spirit prompts and guides me, I'm very sensitive to this. And I do not believe that it is some gibberish that you speak. I do believe it is guided and it is a heavenly language and we should be very, very careful how we apply it. Um, we should not think that this is just something that you just open your mouth and start speaking some weird language. I believe it is a gift of the Spirit and I believe that if you desire that gift, that the Lord will hear you and He will grant you that gift. But it is a supernatural work of the Holy Spirit. I do believe that. Um, the first part of scripture that we will be looking at is 1 Corinthians 14 verse 2. And it says the following. For he who speaks in a tongue does not speak to men but to God. For no one understands him. However, in the Spirit he speaks mysteries. So we hear that we do not speak to men in tongues. We cannot speak to each other in tongues. But when we pray in the Spirit, it is a direct prayer to God. The second uh, verse that we will be looking at is 1 Corinthians 14, uh, 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 chapter 14, verse 14. It says, For I pray in a tongue. This is Paul speaking. For if I pray in a tongue, my spirit prays, but my understanding is unfruitful. What is the conclusion then? I will pray in, with the Spirit and I will also pray with the understanding. I will sing in the Spirit with the Spirit and I will also sing with the understanding. So without, with my understanding. So we see here that Paul uses it in both settings and he trusts the Holy Spirit to guide him in when he speaks in his normal language as well as when he speaks uh, when, he, or when he prays in tongues, that it is guided by the Holy Spirit. Um, our, I, I think that our languages are limited. Um, our Afrikaans, English, Zulu, uh, Chinese, Japanese, whatever it may be, whatever tongue, Indian, whatever it is that you speak, it is limited. And we and our minds are limited in such a way that we do not always know how we should be praying correctly. As we see in Romans 8 uh, uh, verse 26, it says, Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weakness, for we do not know what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. So when we pray in the Spirit, it is not a, a, a human language. It is, it is the Holy Spirit that is praying through us to God, praying the perfect prayer and placing the perfect prayer before God. As we look at what is the purpose of this, it is for personal edification. It is for personal spiritual growth. Jude uh, verse 20 says the following. It says, but you, beloved, building yourselves up 
up on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. Jude, uh, uh, the, I'm reading out of the uh, Spirit-Filled Life Bible, the New King James Version, and I'm looking at the notes here, and it says that Jude exhorts his readers to edify themselves, and we are we and and the word themselves means individually, with the apostolic teaching. A vital part of their spiritual growth is praying in the Holy Spirit. Such praying includes praying in one's own language as prompted by the Spirit, uh, uh, praying with groanings which cannot be uttered, uh, and praying in a tongue unknown to the one praying. So what does this do? Uh, praying in the Holy Spirit gives you the ability through the Holy Spirit, by faith, praying the perfect prayer, and building up your most holy faith. It builds faith. And according to, and 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 we are pray and it is a prayer that is according to the will of God, and we know uh, and the more we read the Word of God, the more we uh, study the Word of God, we will know the will of God. But we will still always fall short in because we have a flesh. We are in we are we are spirit, but there is also flesh involved, and where there is flesh involved, we will always. Uh, be imperfect in this world but there will come a time when we will be perfected but I encourage you in your personal and private uh, discipline in praying in tongues to keep on doing it if you are doing it if you do not if you cannot pray in tongues trust the Lord trust God ask him uh, and, he, and, I, and I know that he will give you the desires of your heart and it will really help your prayer life and take your prayer life to another level and it will build you up in your most holy faith. May God bless you.